I've been feeling a bit stuck lately, so I decided to challenge myself to a seven day glow up challenge. I wanted to wear a nice outfit every day, keep up with my skincare, wear some makeup, eat well, keep up with all my healthy habits. And well, you'll see, <laughs> it didn't go exactly as planned. Good morning, it is a new day and I'm excited to get on with day one of this challenge, I guess. <laughs> it's not really gonna be anything massively different. I just wanna maybe put on some makeup every day and wear something different every day. If you, if you watch my channel a lot, maybe you are sick of seeing this jumper. I wear it all the time and this is generally what I do. I'll wear something to death until I'm like, yeah, okay, I need to wash this. And I have so many nice things and I wanna actually wear them. So that's the point of this challenge. Let's get on with it. having when trying to decide what to wear is that the weather at the moment is really contradictory so it's pouring it down and it's so gloomy but it's like 19 20 degrees because of the rain and the gloom i'm wanting to wear jeans but i know i will be way too hot and i don't feel like i can wear any of the skirts because it's raining so i've already put away as well maybe this was a mistake i've already put away my summer trousers because we did have a spell of quite cold weather so i was like this is it autumn is here but that was obviously too early to do that <laughs> because now i need those summer trousers back i'm thinking i'll just go with these trousers which are i don't know if you can tell they're very lightweight quite boring but I'll go with this and probably a t-shirt, I think. And then I can add a jumper as well if I need. It's not the most inspired outfit, but it's still something. <laughs> and I've done my hair, although I oh, don't know all about that, but I've got my earrings in. So the next step is gonna be makeup. I was gonna do the trousers, but in the end, I got out this skirt, which has this really nice, wait, let me see, let me show you. Um, this really nice pattern. I got this from Depop from the same person who I bought <laughs> my favorite green jumper from. This was from the same seller khaki colored t-shirt and I, I had tucked it in and then I tucked it out and I don't know if it looks right to be honest I don't know if I like it anyway <laughs> just no it looks nice but I just don't feel I don't feel like wearing trousers it just feels really hot like I, I just don't like this weather it feels like humid I think it's only 19 so it's not really hot but I'm just ready for jeans and jumpers and multiple layers weather and so feeling a bit agitated a bit impatient thought I could wear these cute socks seeing as I'm wearing a nice skirt the next step is makeup and um, maybe I'll put on another necklace I don't know I did my hair with this like sparkly hair tie you can't really see it but I'm trying to be coordinated <laughs> makeup is next step I've gone way overboard on the blush. Oh well. I kind of do want to do eyeshadow because I love doing eyeshadow. The problem I have is that last time I wore eyeshadow, which was probably like a month ago, I've been like wearing makeup in the meantime, but I've not been wearing eyeshadow because the last time I wore it, I had some like reaction on my face 
and <laughs> if I'm doing a, a glow up diary series it feels like that would be the wrong thing to do to like give myself an allergic reaction because I haven't worked out what it is I mean I can't think that it was from this palette because I've only had this like a year and I don't use it that often so it's not like there's loads of chance for like bacteria or whatever to get in but I am wondering if it's this palette that I have had for like six years probably it is very well used but I mean I've still got like plenty left I kind of don't want to throw it away but at the same time I also obviously will throw it away if that's what's causing the problem basically there were two days in a row where I wore quite heavy makeup which is very unusual for me the first day I wore this and the second day I wore this and on the third day I woke up and just around my eyes was quite red so it could be this because I wore this on the second day or it could be the eye makeup remover that I was using. So I used coconut oil. So maybe I need to get some like micellar water actual cleanser instead of just using coconut oil to take off my eye makeup. I don't wanna throw it away, but I also don't wanna make my eyes worse. That was like the second time this year that I had some kind of reaction. The first time was when I tried this new perfume, which now I'm trying to like give away, but then like people don't want something that's been opened. Maybe I'll do some eye pencil because I have done that in the meantime. And I don't know what to do about my eyebrows. You can see my eyebrows are very sparse. <sighs> I don't know whether to fill them in because when I fill them in, I then feel a bit like a clown, but filling them in, I'm just trying to like make them match my hair color a bit more. So I don't know, maybe I'll just fill in this part now it doesn't look even oh, this is the thing you just end up adding a little bit more and a little bit more and then you look and you're like oh my gosh what do i look like i think if i leave it there that's probably enough so this is the look i definitely think i've done maybe a bit too much blush but it's fine <laughs> i could also do maybe i should do a lipstick as well i think i'm probably gonna go make some tea or something so it's not the most practical thing to do. I'm already thinking about getting changed. I just feel really agitated. Maybe I should put off this series. I don't know. No, I'm gonna carry on, but I think I'm just gonna change into like, wait, I'll show you. It's this skirt, which I wear like all the time, all the time with an elasticated waist. And I'm just like so comfy in this. I've worn this like countless times. I'm not gonna have a problem with this basically. Whereas this I'm feeling like I'm too hot. Not a vibe, unfortunately. Part of it is to do with I'm in my late luteal phase. So maybe I'm just craving some normality. So maybe that's why I'm saying maybe this series isn't the best thing to film now. Maybe I need to wait till next week or something. Uh, we'll see how we get on. I'm gonna change into this. I'm just annoying myself now. Cause now I'm like, this green doesn't go with the skirt. You know what? They're both green and I'm just gonna have to deal with it cause I'm really fed up at this point. <laughs> I'm still feeling so agitated and I'm kind of struggling to think about who that girl is in the context of this feeling right now, of feeling agitated and unable to settle and like everything is annoying <laughs> or like looking in the mirror and being like you're so ugly I don't like feel those things like I think them but I notice that I'm thinking them and I'm like oh okay like I, I know where that's coming from so it's not like I'm feeling horrible about myself I'm like I know where that thought is coming from and I know I know it's not true but it then feels almost like a little fight with myself where I'm having to like put up this wall and be like okay I know that you're feeling bad about yourself or you know that there's this part that's like saying all these horrible things and I don't have to engage with that but it feels like this like tug of war almost and I'd really rather not deal with that but I mean maybe it's quite interesting to be starting this series as I'm feeling this way because it's like oh yes you can try and be your ideal self and do all of the like habits that you know will help there will still be some things that inevitably crop up and you have to deal with so maybe this is a good <laughs> a good timing like I, i'm already like should i change my outfit I, like i'm i'm just in that kind of frame of mind where i'm feeling quite restless and normally i can capitalize on that energy in a good way right so i've done some editing this morning i'm filming i have like three or four different videos on the go at this point and that feels quite easy for me to manage because my mind is so scattered, like I have so many things going on. But on the other side, then it's, yeah, it just in terms of like the feeling, I just, I have all of this like restlessness and it's quite annoying. <laughs> but I think maybe I'll go make some lunch and that will hopefully help. Who knows? <laughs> 
it is Saturday, so one of the podcasts I listen to every Friday, they come out with a new episode. And because they're in America, it's not normally posted like Friday morning. So I didn't get a chance to listen to that yesterday. It's the weekly roundup on politicology. We do a roundup of like political news in America. Love having that on. So maybe I'll make my lunch and listen to that. That might get me out of this restless, annoying energy. But yeah, I am, I am like, should I get changed? It's like, believe it. Okay, I will speak to you later. <laughs> is day two hello you can see i've sort of already failed <laughs> um no i have put on like a new outfit but it's not like an outfit outfit <laughs> and i decided i didn't really want to wear makeup today because i don't like the idea of wearing makeup every day my skin is oh, all right but i feel like wearing makeup every day even though i wear mineral makeup so it's not like heavy foundation still don't feel like that's the best idea and it is sunday so i was like i just want to wear something comfy i'm not really going out it's been raining a lot so this kind of feels like i failed today i don't know we'll see how i feel or we'll see what happens tomorrow because it's not about how i feel it's about just trying to follow the rules i've set myself i've edited a video i've posted a video today so that is good spent some time with my family, had some nice lunch. I will have put a picture in of what I had, <laughs> basically the same thing as yesterday. I think it's okay. <laughs> I'm wondering like how harsh I need to be on myself in terms of sticking to the challenge. Like, should I be like, you have to wear makeup every day? That feels counterproductive. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> just thought I'd check in. Hello. <laughs> oh, this challenge. I mean, technically today I have done well. I had, I guess you would call an everything shower. I was literally in the bathroom for like half an hour. It felt like really luxurious to have that time and give myself that time to just have like a bit of a self-care morning. And I've worn like my nice jeans and I've got my nice shirt on, put my earrings on, I've done something with my hair. So like today technically does count. But the thing is today is not technically day three. Today is like a week after I filmed those other clips, essentially. <laughs> I'm trying to work out why it didn't stick. I was really, I guess, stuck in that mood of just feeling like really restless. Like when I was trying to pick on the first day my outfit. That was just so, <laughs> it's quite out of character for me. I don't know, I guess any, anyone can like get into those moods. I'm thinking I wanna redo this and try and do like a full week, the full seven days, but try and include rules that I don't have to wear makeup every day, you know? Cause originally that's what I wanted to do. And then <laughs> you saw on the second day, I was like, actually, no, this is probably not a good idea. I could have done like just some eye makeup or some lipstick or something, but I was like, I don't want to put on mineral foundation even every single day. I just don't think that's good for my skin. And also I work at home, so it's not like I need to for work to look like put together or whatever. I mean, this is the thing. Maybe I should try that for a week just to see what happens, to see if it does make me feel more put together. Because if it would only be for a week, then I could see like, did this actually make my skin worse? I'm trying to work out how to incorporate these habits that I know help me feel a bit better. How to incorporate them so that I will do them every day, so that I will do the full seven days. And I thought that I needed like some kind of, 
external motivation, you know? So if I'm making a video about it, I thought that would be make it easier for me to do. But I, <laughs> I guess I didn't want to then film on day three when I was feeling worse. So I waited and then like, as I said, probably a week has gone by or whatever. I think I will try this again, but maybe try and be less strict. It's kind of like I was talking about in one of my videos a couple weeks ago about balancing structure and going with the flow. I need to find the balance between I want to do this challenge and I want to do these things for this reason, like so feel more put together or like wear all of my nice clothes that I have. Do that because I, I want to see if that makes any difference on, on my mood, especially now we're going into winter or well, certainly autumn now. I'm already feeling a bit apprehensive about how my mood will change because it was so bad last December. It was awful. It's one of those things that when you're in it, you don't realize how bad it is. And it's only looking back that I'm like, oh wow, things were really, really bad. And so I'm like, I, I want to try and build these habits or like try out these things, whether it's get dressed every day, makeup every day, or those are really basic things. There were other things I wanted to include and then, you know, it got sidetracked on day three. <laughs> this is supposedly day three. I wanna try and build those things, those habits and see what difference they make because that will help me prepare for this upcoming season. And there are loads of reasons to love winter. I mean, I've got my fairy lights on, it's really gloomy today. You know, I like sitting in bed, reading a book, you know, getting into bed at like seven and just reading for a couple of hours. I love doing that, but there are also, you know, it's, it's not nice to be working and it to be dark by the time you finish work. So when the hour goes back in a few weeks, I'm not looking forward to that. Although it does mean an extra hour's sleep for that one day, so maybe that's good. But it's balancing that like structure of I want to do this for those reasons that I just talked about and then also being like, okay, but this day, this thing happens, so it's okay if I don't do this today. It's really difficult to find the line <laughs> because sometimes you can tell yourself, oh, I don't need to do that today because I'm too busy or I'm too tired or there's no point in doing that. And there can be like all sorts of valid reasons why oh yeah I don't need to wear makeup today but actually that was just an excuse and if I did force myself to do it then or if you you know if you did force yourself to be like no we're putting on you know at least we're doing eye, eye makeup every day or whatever or putting on some lipstick if you did do that it would make a difference there are those days where it's like no I need to push myself a little bit and then there are other days where it's like no it's okay you're not making an excuse this is a legitimate reason just like chill out it's fine I used to think that it was those two instances like it was either I was trying to be kind to myself, but behind it were all these excuses or that it is okay to rest. I thought it was just those two things, but now I'm thinking maybe I have to assign that afterwards. So like, let's give an example so this makes sense. Let's say I'm trying to say that I want to have a shower every day and I struggle with executive function. I can say, okay, you don't need to have a shower today. Like it would be nice. It's probably a good idea to shower most days, but you don't need to. That would be like the kind you can rest thing. Uh, but then there would be the other voice that would be like, well, the other way of looking at it, that would be like, this is just an excuse. You know, you have all these things going on in your head, but like, if you force yourself to have a shower, it probably would help. It would help you feel better, even if you don't feel like it. But something like that, as I'm thinking to myself, should I have a shower this morning or should I have a shower this evening? I'm thinking both of those things. I'm like, okay, is this an excuse wrapped up in self-care or is this like, no, legitimately you can rest. I'm thinking of it in that way. But lately I was thinking maybe you assign that afterwards. So if I then make the decision, yes, I'm gonna have a shower, or it sounds like such a small thing, but you will know if you struggle with the same thing. Um, or no, I'm gonna rest. Maybe it's only after you made the decision that you can then be like, yeah, that was right. It's the thing of don't worry about making the right decision, make the decision right. Whatever you decide to do. And usually I apply this in, you know, big decisions like going part-time at my job. <laughs> when I was full-time for a bit, I'd taken on a new role. I've not really spoken about this, but this was, it was really difficult. I didn't know if the right thing to do was to go back to my other role, my original role, but it, it got to a point where I was like, I can't carry on doing this job. So I just have to make the decision right. Like whatever, I if I decide to stay and do stay full-time, I have to, sorry, I should put that on do not disturb. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd done that. If I decide to stay, I need to make that the right decision. So I need to either change something in my attitude or my outlook or be like, okay, we're just doing this for a few more months, like make the decision right. And if I decide to go back to part-time, that needs to be the right decision. I can't be thinking like, oh, I should have done the other thing or oh, money-wise or, you know, like thinking all of these different, because there are all kinds of reasons that would come into it, whether it's experience or like building a portfolio or yeah, money, time freedom, whatever I decided I was like, I, I can't remember where I heard this or saw it, but it really spoke to me at that point because I was making like that big decision. And I think about it now in the same way with these smaller things. It doesn't have to be, is this an excuse that I'm making or is this right for me to rest? It can be like, whatever it is, whatever I decide to do, the action itself, I can make that 
the right thing whether that is I'm resting or I'm forcing forcing myself or you know I don't feel like doing this but fine I'll do this because I said I was going to or because I think the benefit will outweigh whatever inconvenience it has to me at the moment so I've been thinking about that a lot and also trying to play the tape forward think about my future self and think about the things I'm doing now like I may not feel like cleaning my room but it's like that's a gift to me tomorrow because I don't have to wake up and be like ah I need to clean my room today because it's like past me has already done that <laughs> trying, to, trying to frame it in that way in that same way I should maybe be applying that to the idea of this glow up challenge where it's like okay present me may not be feeling this or maybe like why do I have to do this every day but it's like future me may have a different perspective and be like oh I'm so glad I did that for a week that was an interesting experiment because that's the other thing just to be curious about things and be like will this help will this work <laughs> what will I learn right instead of going into it being like oh I don't think this will help or I can't be bothered to do this or I'm not feeling like doing this today because <laughs> I run so much on my feelings and I don't think that's always the best it can be very helpful it can help like make decisions and be empathetic to people but it can also be a bit of a hindrance to be ruled so much by your, your emotions and the, and the way you feel and have that determine your actions. Please subscribe if you're new here and you want to see the next Glow Up Diaries episode because I will be doing another one. Please stay tuned <laughs> if you want to see that. I will leave my Finding Balance September Diaries video that I mentioned because that links nicely to what we were just talking about in terms of structure or going with the flow and trying to work out, <laughs> find some kind of balance between that. So I will leave that for you if you would like to watch that. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.